We all want customers who never forget us. We all want to be the bottle of Coke in their lives. When they drink us, they keep coming back. And that is where we are trying to build our businesses to get to. Today, we are going to be talking about five ways to make your customers never forget you. These are the five ways to make sure your customers never forget you. Number one, pay attention to their experiences. Every customer has an experience when they interact with your product. You need to be able to know their touch points. Touch points are the places where customers interact with you. For example, if you are an online salesperson and you sell shoes, every time your customers click on your website, the way your website is displayed is an experience for your customer. How easy it is for your customers to order from you, that's an experience. If your customers want to return something and they have to interact with somebody to get it done, that is an experience and it is a customer touch point and it is an important place for you to evolve their experience in a way that they love doing business with you. Number two, be consistent with your quality. Be like a loaf of bread. When they eat your bread, they have a particular feeling and they want to replicate that feeling every time they eat that loaf of bread. That's the way you need to be. Don't be like those businesses that start out very great, but as time goes on and as the customers increase, the experience gets worse and worse for their customers. We want you to be consistent with your quality. If the quality is premium, keep the quality premium. If the quality is in the middle of the line, then keep it that way. You can always improve experiences and you can always improve quality. Number three, do not forget your customers and your customers will not forget you. When you forget about your customers, your customers will forget about you. When you don't reach out, when you don't call back, when you don't let them know what's going on with your business. Your customers will forget you. Once you have done business with somebody, it is imperative, it is important for you to reach out to them again and let them know that, hi, I'm still here to serve you. Number four, don't tell them lies and communicate clearly with them. You all have that tailor, that one particular tailor who tells you that your things will be ready in two weeks, but never delivers. We are getting to the end of the year, and this is the season for people to disappoint people, especially when it comes to making their clothes. So don't be like that tailor that disappoints you. When it comes to your business, always communicate your expectations with your customer so your customer can manage what they expect from you. For example, if you want your customers to pay you 50% upfront before you can begin work, communicate it with them. Don't leave it to the wind and then tell the customer, oh, because you didn't pay me, that's why I didn't do the work. It's very disappointing and I can guarantee you that they will not come back to work with you next time. So make sure you communicate clearly with them. It is best if you can on the promise and over deliver. So make sure that you are making promises that you can hit and hit and hit again another time in a very good way for your customers. Number five, follow up with your customers, especially after you've solved the problem for them follow up with them. Make sure that they are satisfied with their solution and they are feeling comfortable with coming back again with you. If possible, apologize to them when you have done something wrong so your customers know that they are interacting with a human being who cares about them, not just their money. Today we have a question from Wumi from Ibadan. Wumi wants to know why some of her customers buy from her once and never come back. Wumi, like I said in the video, you need to check the experiences that your customers have. Of course, there's a lot of competition in the market, so you need to evaluate who your customers are and why they buy from you. Once you know this, you're going to be able to manage their experiences to meet their expectations and even go beyond it. That way, your customers will keep coming time and time again to you to solve their problems for them or to buy from you. Thank you for watching The 5 Minute Entrepreneur. Make sure you leave your questions and comments below and we will get back to them in another episode.